Hello dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. I am engineer Muhammad Rizal Haq. Welcome to my automation tools YouTube channel. Today I will show how to upload and download a program from Profess GP4502 to WWSMI. Model number PFX GP4502 WADW. So let's start. I will upload this program by using Ethernet cable and mini USB to USB cable. First I am showing you the using the mini USB to USB cable. So I am connecting this communication cable now. One side you have to be connected in SMI. Mini USB side is connected to SMI and USB side is connected to laptop side. You see? I have connected this cable between PC and the SMI. Now power up the SMI. Power on. After the SMI power on, we open the process GP Profex EX. Uh, configuration software for configuration process ACMI. This is the update version. Different site of version are available in the website. You can download it, but it is the latest version. After opening this, we have to create a new project. So we select new and press the OK button. Then we have to select the model number that we want to configure or upload or download to program. So we <coughs> select the model number, series number, it is 45 series and you set the model number. If your model number is exactly not matched with this uh, software model number, you can select uh, the series number and then uh, you select the new of the company that have made by this SMI. We select this company name, then press finish button. Here we select the transfer, button, transfer function. Transfer function is the DC project that is want to the upload program from the SMI. So we press the receive button, receive program, receive project. Then we put the name of this uh, uploaded project that we can easily identify. Then press the save button. Then it is see connecting to the SMI and the program is uploading. You see, upload or transfer is completed. I have forget to this that we first we have to go check the communication cable which cable is are using we is using usb so we select usb and we select the which type of program you want to upload then press the okay then press again to receive button you see it's connected and program is uploading or reading read program from this smi you see, transfer is completed. I show you that transfer is our uploaded program is completed. Now I will show how to send a project or download a program to the ACMI. So select the program and press open and when the program is open you can see the details of this uh, uploaded uh, program or the opening program. After that you check the combination cable which cable we are using to transfer project to the SMI then press the send project. When you press the send project it is connected and you see the program is transferring one by one to the SMI and the right side of the SMI is showing that is program is uploading. You say upload is completed. 
but in the status bar this is not uploaded that's the card combination uh, cf card this version is cannot supported so it is showing that uploaded but all the program that is required for running this communication is downloaded successfully then you see it is a default option that you see and it is completed that means our firmware project and uh, all are transferred to the ACMI. It is successfully transferred. So, it can easily use. I have shown you it is by using the USB to mini USB to mini USB cable. Now, I will show how can we upload or download the project in the same ACMI or process ACMI by using Ethernet cable. So, I close it and uh, First, here also we can uh, see the information of this ACMI, the model number of ACMI by using this software. When you see that is here the display the information of this ACMI. Also, we can compare the opening project that is at the same with the ACMI project or not. It is saying that at the same the project that means the in open project and the ACMI project is same. By in this way, we can check this all the data that we are already stored in or the ACMI. So, you can do there are different types of option. Now, we will show how can we upload or download a program by using Ethernet cable. So, we connecting the Ethernet cable between the laptop and the ACMI, and right side corner, I am showing that that. Uh, so, uh, how can you see the IP address that are using in the ACMI? So, you follow the step. How can you see the ACMI IP address? Right side corner I am showing, and again open the DP Profix Pro EX software for downloading or uploading program. Here you see the IP address of the ACMI that are using. This IP address have to be used to connect with the SMI. So, we go to the transfer option and uh, we want to receive project. So, press the receive project and we have to be given a name because we want to upload project from the SMI. So, we press the upload project through Ethernet then press the save button. You also can select the folder that you want to store. You see it is free to connect. That means we press the up receive program but we cannot select the combination cable. So, we select the LAN cable. There is the USB LAN from it. So, we select the LAN cable and even you close the receive project. And you press the button. You see it is showing the IP address of ACMI. So, select this IP address. This is the ACMI IP address. So, select and press OK. You see, it is trying to communicate with the ACMI to upload project through the Ethernet cable. It is trying to communicate. If it um, fail, it so it is fail. That means the ACMI, the IP address series of ACMI and our laptop is maybe different. So we check it, it is same or different. So we go to the network adapter. So Ethernet, select Ethernet of laptop site. We we'll change adapter. Then you should go to the Ethernet. Then properties, then IP4. Here you see no IP address setting. So we select the same series IP of this ACMI. You see ACMI IP address 192, 168, and 1.5.0. Which is this same series. Press OK. And then again we try to receive the project. You see. 
that is showing the IP address of ECMI. Select this IP address and press OK. You see, this communicate and the program is uploading from the ECMI through Ethernet cable. You see, program transferring and receiving project. You see, thus far is completed. That means our program is successfully uploaded from ACMI through the Ethernet cable. Here you see the status. The status is showing that transfer completed. Now, I will show how can we send project or download project to the ACMI to the Ethernet cable. For that, first we have to open the project, the uploaded project. So, you select project and you select the upload project and press open. Our program is open and showing the details of this program. You can, before downloading, you can compare it. It is same, same as the program or not. It is comparing that our open project and the ACMI project are the same. So, you can download or not. I am showing the download with the same project. Then the I showing it is a IP address of this ACMI. We select this IP address and press the OK. You see, it is connected or communicating with the ACMI and our program is downloading to the ACMI. Program, firmware, project, all are downloading to ACMI and the right side corner I am showing that the status of, uh, status of this ACMI. That's our program is a downloading to ACMI. You see, it is download is completed. So, dear friend, I show you how can we upload and download program through USB or USB. So, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Also, like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching.